On valuation problem one, what would be the fair price for a bond with the following characteristics? Payment frequency, semi-annual, that means each half year. Years to maturity, 11 years. Coupon rate, 5.8%, and yield to maturity, 6.25%. This is an example of a typical bond problem where we need to calculate the fifth variable given the other four. So what are we looking for here? We're solving for the fair price of the bond. So that on our calculator will be the uh, present value, the PV button. Now let's look at the, we have to consider the fact that we have a semi-annual payment. That's going to have an influence, an effect. We're going to make to adjust our N, the number of payments, PMT, the amount of the payments, and I over Y, which is the yield now, the yield per period I over Y, I'm assuming I'm using a Texas Instruments BA2+. Plus, and uh, the button you may have on your calculator may just simply be an I, maybe even an R, depending on the model. So you need to familiarize yourself with your uh, calculator and your financial calculator, that is, and uh, which buttons to use and when. Now. We're going to start by calculating the N. N is the number of payments. So if we have 11 years to maturity, but we have uh, semi-annual payments, that means we have 11 years times two payments per year, or 22. Now the coupon rate can't be mistaken or shouldn't be mistaken for the uh, yield or for the I. The coupon rate has to do with the payment. And what we do is we take the coupon rate and we multiply that by the par value or face value of the bond. Now here in this question, we're not given the face value of the bond, so we assume the standard $1,000. So the coupon of 5.8% times the 1,000 means we'll be paid $58 a year. Now, because we paid $58 a year, we're being paid, however, every half year. So that means we're going to be paid half the amount, $58, divided by two twice a year. So that amounts to a payment of $29. So as you can see here, we take the coupon rate times the uh, par value and then divide by two because we have a semi-annual uh, payment. And finally, the yield to maturity. Now that would be relating to the I over Y on your calculator. But again, we are looking at the APR, annual percentage rate of 6.25%. However, in our case, we're again dealing with a semi-annual coupon, so we will then make the adjustment of what is the rate per period. That would be half of that rate. So we'll take 6.25 divided by two, and we end up with 3.125%. So we end, enter 3.125, now without the percent in the BA2+, plus as for the I over Y. Now we solve, which means you then will press CPT or compute and then PV. That will result in an answer of PV is minus 964.59. Now the negative sign is just the way the calculator has to deal with uh, the positive cash flows coming from the payments and the future value. I didn't mention FV. We have to enter, of course, $1,000 because that's the payment we'll have um, at the end of the period. So we have PV is minus 964. What that means is, of course, that the price is $964.59. So that's how we do it. That's it. And uh, hopefully that helped. Thank you for your attention.